Hey, what's up you guys? It is December 29th, 2020 in the Big Bear Lake area. We are actually, uh, this is the end of the storm. I don't think we're gonna get any more snow out of this. We might get a couple more flurries in the next hour, but I'm not anticipating anything else. So this is gonna be the end of this storm. Then obviously tomorrow I'll be doing the aftermath video. And a little surprise for you guys, I did a time lapse and it's still recording right now from right before the snow started a couple days or yesterday yesterday morning and it's gonna I'm gonna end it tomorrow um, in the afternoon so we're gonna have a cool time lapse to watch the whole storm coming through and I think the time lapse is gonna be in 4k this time instead of uh, 1080 so that's cool guys hopefully you guys enjoy it but yeah we're driving through uh, right now we are in Moon Ridge and this is uh, uh, gosh, this is Elm Street yeah, oh, look at, I love houses that are, are decorated like that. That's so cool, man. Oh, man. I wish I had children and a wife and just all that stuff so I can just enjoy all this, these times that I love, too, and, you know, kind of live vicariously through my little ones or something like that. But I'm 40 and it hasn't happened yet. My dad was 48 when he had me. My mom was uh, just, just, she was 37 and a half. So, I mean, there's still plenty of time for me, but I always felt really bad that my dad was always like, everyone always thought he was my grandpa and it would just, it would make me so sad. It, 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 you know, it would embarrass me too, but it would make me so sad that everyone thought my dad was my grandpa always growing up. So I was always really embarrassed. It's just, anyway, I don't know what the heck the point was there, but yeah. Anyway, you guys. It's a cool little street. I think we're on uh, Cedar, or, or no, let me just, uh, why am I thinking Cedar? Willow. <laughs> hey, it's two syllables. So we're on Willow, and we're going to be coming up to the cross street of what uh, is called uh, Club View, which is the road you turn right on when you're on Moon Ridge Road to head to Bear Mountain. And that's where we're going to go right now. And if I remember, I'm gonna show you guys who are coming up like in the next day or so, a cool spot to go sledding over in this area where you don't have to worry about trespassing or parking in a spot where the cops are gonna be waiting to give you a ticket, stuff stuff like that. Keep in mind, because that's how this town makes a lot of money um, or it's a huge it's a huge source of, of fiscal happiness for the town um, is ticketing people and stuff like that. So just, you know, try not to get a ticket and especially parking in the wrong spot. They get you fast up here for that. I mean, fast. Before you even shut your door to like walk away from your car, the ticket's already sitting on your car. Um, but yeah, wow, what is going on? Wow, it's dark over there, wow. So uh, yeah. matter of fact we might even I might even drive up there just to show you guys just to make it a little bit easier for you but it's one of my my favorite places to go basically if you forget we're on club view right now okay but if you forget um, where uh, basically when you get to Bear Mountain you're gonna want to stay to the right and go up that that road that goes up that steep hill to the very top and you'll end up at the 2n10 which is an off-road it's a dirt road that goes in the back of our mountains, um, like behind Snow Summit and Bear Mountain, and, and or not necessarily behind Bear, but behind Summit and the whole town. And basically you enter up here and then you'll exit. You can, there's a few different places you can exit. There's so many different off-roading roads that connect up there, but I usually take this from here all the way down to Sawmill, or no, sorry, uh, uh, it's like, yeah, Sawmill, I think, over by the, whatchamacallit, Magic Mountain, which is the sledding and the bobsledding place. It lets you out, like, right back there. It's pretty cool. So you get to drive behind the whole town through the mountains. Like, uh, not on this side of the mountain range, on the other side, which is super cool. There's a lot to discover up here, guys. It's just really, really cool. And... Uh, some of the spots will make you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, and that's just that's what I love All right. 
So I'll shut this down for a second. So this video doesn't freaking kill you guys with length. But then again, maybe experiencing the real, how, the, what amount of time it's gonna take to get here, especially with uh, a traffic like this and snow plows out on the roads and stuff like that. So I think we'll keep it on, forget it. Look at how much snow they got over here, man. Woo! Closer we get to bear, more snow you'll get. Just like Summit. I really miss working at Bear Mountain though, guys, I'll tell you. I think I've told you guys a million times, but I really do miss it. these guys and then look like an idiot like, oh there's that big bear weather and more passing us but guys seriously like when there's people behind you like just to pull over a little bit is really nice I know he's plowing I know he is but I mean these are some of the things why a lot of people do not like to return up here um, is stuff like this as I said, I know he's doing his job right now, so I'm I'm not upset about that. I, I know he's doing his job. But these, they just never, ever, ever consider other people or tourism or tourists that are here trying to actually uh, enjoy their time and not get stuck through all, all this stuff. point is is that I've I have noticed since I live up here like uh <clears throat> you know it's uh sometimes it's just the tourists come second and for me that makes no sense like uh if I was the snow plow guy I'd be pulling over a little bit just to you know to let us buy it's not a big deal um but as I said for the tourists that come up here it's just stuff like this over and over again um that's just really becomes irritating and less than 15% of you guys ever return. You heard me right. Not less than five, zero percent, less than one, five percent, less than 15% because of the price gouging. When you get here during weather like this, um, during, uh, this type of stuff here. Um, yeah, it was just an orientation for bear mountain. They had a huge list of so many different reasons people don't like coming back here and it blew my mind. Blew my mind, but it made sense. Absolutely made sense. That's actually a smart idea. The guy's going through the parking lot right there. He's, he's, he's gonna come out over there. That's very smart. That's what I should have done. So we are gonna go to the right up here. I'm assuming this guy's in the snow plow is gonna go to the right, but we're gonna pass them. If if he does go to the right, we are gonna pass him. Like without, without a doubt. But yeah, guys, I don't want you to think I'm being impatient. Like I have nowhere to go right now. Like I have, I have all the time in the world right now. I'm really tired and like delirious because you know I just slept for like 45 freaking minutes. And when I, I, I got up, like I was, so dead tired but I got up anyway making sure that I do this this last video for the night and then I'm gonna do it just hit this hit the sack so freaking good so yeah I knew this guy was gonna stay to the right I can't do this. 
this anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, so this is where you're going to go sledding, guys. And this is Bear Mountain. You can hear all the snow machines making snow. These places right here are so awesome. Right on the slope, man. I bet they're so expensive. But yeah, further up we get here, we're going to get... Oh, it's snowing a little bit because we're right up against the mountains. So the storms hit the mountains and then they they they, they lift right there and then just, just let loose everything they have right on top of the mountain. Okay. Do you guys need any assistance with anything? Uh, just a chain. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If I knew anything about chains, that's why I bought snow tires so I don't have to deal with them. Yeah. But, uh, um, are you guys like sliding down and stuff right now? No, we're just gonna go up there, but they just start sliding and the team changes, you got loose. All right, well, I'm going up to the top. I'll, I'll turn around, come back down, and, uh, um, if you guys need me to make a call or like something, All don't, right. don't hesitate, okay? All right, thank you, All right no worries, you guys. Right. See ya. All right. So. Those poor guys, they were trying to go up here too. And it really makes me sad how easy my vehicle makes it look. I mean, we don't slip or slide or anything. Oh, but we do go over big, huge. Yeah, that their car wouldn't have made it over that berm, I guarantee you. It was probably good they, they didn't make it all the way up here because they would have got stuck on that berm. They would have, uh, uh, what's that? What's that word? They would have, uh, they would have been stuck on the, the bottom of the car. Oh yeah, so we're gonna turn around right here. There's a bunch of people here. So this is 2N10 right here. There's about a, just over a foot of snow right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these people behind us are just having fun, doing a little partying, I'm assuming, up here. Woohoo! Okay, yeah, this can get pretty treacherous right here. All right, guys, let's make like Tom and Cruise. Well, so okay, so, you know what? You know what? We're, we're going to, uh, I was going to put it in X mode, but it'll go way too slow the whole way. So we're not going to do X mode. But this is very dangerous. And that car being right there, that might not be good for me, actually. Obviously, it's not good for them right now. It's freezing out here. It's 25 degrees. Those poor people, man. Gosh, I don't like that when, when that stuff happens. Oh, poor people. Okay, thank goodness there are no cars on either side of the street itself. That's really bright. I hope they, I hope they make it. Come on, you guys. I hope you guys can make it. And this is the berm right here that I'm telling you, there's no way they would have made it through this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, you can hear those snow machines like crazy. That's how it sounds at my house from uh, Snow Summit. All right, guys, this is nuts. over here for a second because I can't see it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. You guys good now? So he must have put on the chains again, a better fit, and they stayed on this time, so that's good. But yeah, guys, so check it out. To the right, 
all that noise you're hearing is these snow blowers blowing all the snow right there wow i can't see it like uh just looking at it but through the camera i can totally see it wow guys so cool man so that's where you're going to want to go sledding where i ended up at the top right there there's freaking so much right around there that you can sled down it's so much fun and uh yeah, you don't have to worry about, as I said, really getting any parking tickets or anything like that. You'll be good. Wow. Took a picture of that. As I said, I, I can't see it with my naked eye because it's too dark, but through the camera, you can totally see it. It's awesome. You know, we're just gonna drive through the parking lot right here. Hopefully we don't get any crap about it. Oops, we're gonna hit some little deep little spots right here. Here, let's, hit the, let's hit the, turn the wheel and hit the brakes a little bit. Yeah, see, it doesn't even like these. This car grips so good. Oh my gosh, it's just too good. I don't like it. <laughs> when you want to get loose, it's, it's kind of a bummer. Okay, so we're getting uh, uh, nothing. I thought that was a little snow coming down, but it's not. Oh man, I am so tired, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so, so tired. I, I would have done a drive around town right now, but this is a very beautiful drive right now. And I'm just, it would be dangerous for me to just keep on driving. I, I wouldn't have even come out right now if I felt it was beyond dangerous that I'd put other people at risk. So don't worry, I'm not at that state. That 45 minute little nap that I took, whew, I can't tell you how much that's actually, I'm feeling how much that's helping me now. Like, I think I could make it probably another half a day just from that 45 minutes. I'm exhausted, but it's still delirious, but I feel a little better. Oh, look at how cool that is. Gosh, that's just so beautiful. All those lights you see, that's Snow Summit. There's no one behind us, no one in front of us. It looks like a fire, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. Isn't it?
like a fire over there at Bear. What is that? I don't recognize that light over there. Oh, look at this, coyote dude. Coyote! How are you doing, my friend? Let's see if we catch on camera here. What's up, Mr. Coyote? How you doing, brother? You chilling like a villain? Right on. He's just chilling. He is just chilling. Skies up there. There's some clouds ahead of us. But yeah, guys, we're pretty much done with the storm. I looked on the weather app, the one that always gives me the best results. In five and a half years, it's had the most successful results for me. Um, it shows that in like a week, it looks like we're gonna get two or three straight days of snow, but it didn't look like much at all. It just looked like some unsettled weather for a few straight days. But I'm hoping that changes into like heavy duty snow. That would be awesome, guys. That would be awesome. Anyway, let's turn on the bright for a second. Woo! Moon Ridge Road, you guys. Look how big this road is, how wide it is, when there's no one on it. I have so much fun on it. Alright, so we're going to pull into our driveway right here, and when I came out, I freaking bottomed out. Because the snow plow came by, and look at this. Look what I have to do. I have to go through this huge bird watch. Here we go, this is not going to be fun. But we did it. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. I, I really can't believe we just made that without any issues but anyway i love you guys i will talk with you later hope you guys are having a terrific night peace in the middle east later